so today I will talk about charge conjugation so charge conjugation operator is like a parity transformation means conjugation is like parity transformation right since it is a discrete symmetry operator so similarly this charge conjugation is also discrete symmetry operator and what this charge conjugation operator will do so what this will do so it changes particle to antiparticle this operator changes particle to antiparticle right this is what, what what it will do but dynamical variables dynamical variables like momentum and spin momentum and spin they do not change or dynamical variables like momentum and spin they remain unchanged right that's what we have to keep in mind and it is generally represented by c or sometimes in some text it is known as c parity so consider a state consider a state and that state is represented by a p and so this is a cat vector at it is representing of some state so here what is a a represents additive quantum numbers it represents additive quantum numbers And let me talk about that. What are the additive quantum numbers? It's like uh, charge is also additive quantum number, baryon number, lepton number, strangeness, and hypercharge. These are few examples of uh, this is basically charge, and uh, this is baryon number, right? And this is lepton number and this is strangeness and this is hypercharge right so that means these additive quantum number will change whereas dynamical variable like P and sigma these are the dynamical variables variables they remain unchanged they remain unchanged right so, so they change their sign so let me try to understand it that what will happen so let us take some examples so consider example how c operates over some particle then how or uh, what it will do when c operates over pi positive means the positive pi ohm it gives us the negative pi ohm similarly if c operates over proton it gives us the anti proton Right. that's what will happen 
but if we operate this over some quantum numbers means when c operates over some quantum numbers right say charge is a one quantum number this is p and this is sigma then as i discussed here it will change this because q is a additive quantum number so it is this q p and sigma this is the effect of it let me see its effect over all other quantum numbers so for that let us proceed as follows so let me try to see its effect over other quantum numbers means when c operates over some state which is represented by q i3 b y and l if a state is represented by all such quantum numbers when c operates over this then it gives us q minus minus i3 b minus minus y and minus l right that's what will happen so let us now calculate eigenvalues of c let us now calculate eigenvalues of c let us calculate eigenvalues of c values of c suppose c operates over the baryon uh, sorry c operates over the charge then it gives me minus q right again operating both sides by c so when both sides again operated by c it gives us minus q and minus q so minus minus q will become uh, plus q because it is like this so it will change its sign so it will become q so therefore i can write down it as c square is equal to uh, sorry when c square operates over q it will remain unchanged so what does it mean this mean that that c square is equal to 1 or i can say that c is equal to plus minus 1 right and when c is plus 1 or c is minus 1 what does it mean that means c is even and we call it as c is odd right so this suggest that or this shows that this shows that c has two eigen values c has two eigen values plus minus 1 and it is a discrete it is a discrete transformation right So let me note down some few things again. Special note means the effect of or uh, it's commutated with the Hamiltonian. So strong and electromagnetic interactions. Strong and electromagnetic. interactions are interactions are invariant under c invariant under c so that means mathematically its commutator with electromagnetic hamiltonian commute or its commutator with strong interaction hamiltonian will also be commute right but for weak interactions 
for weak interactions its commutator with the hamiltonian of weak interaction will not compute that means that means weak interactions are not invariant weak interactions are not invariant under c right so that's what we have to keep in mind now let me talk about few examples again okay. right so when c operates over neutral pi on it will remain pi not as it is so that means c is even for the pi ons right another is pi not decays to gamma plus gamma means two gamma ray photons but pi not cannot decays to three gamma ray photons because c is even for pi not this is not possible means this is a lot and this is not a lot right because c is even so that means even number of gamma ray photons are possible but odd number of gamma ray photons are not possible right another example is rho not it is another meson mu rho meson and what is there in it this meson is odd this is odd so that means rho not decays to 3 gamma ray photons or odd number of gamma ray photons but it will not decays to even number of so it this is a lot that means and this is not a lot right and another example is this rho not it, it do not decays to pi mesons neutral but it decays to pi plus and pi minus so these are few examples few examples what which i talked about so this is a lot this is not a lot and this is a lot right so that's all for uh, today's lecture so today i will talk about a new concept of that's a charge conjugation in the next lecture i will talk about g parity thanks for watching this video